Lime Green Squid. Ah, yes, we are entering Karg Story 6 Rivalry. So we've met, but now we have to. Now we're gonna go against each other. Ooh! <laughs> I'm out to the kitten. That was cute. That might have to be the <laughs> thumbnail picture for this video. <laughs> Ooh! Let's say, going in a grind. Now we're gonna go against each other. Ooh! <laughs> I'm out to the kitten. Alright, we're here. Yeah, well, what's wrong? Aren't you going? You scared? It just all came back to me. All their faces when those wings popped out of my back. When those wings, all their faces popped out of my back. It's like they were all thinking you betrayed us. wanted to come back here in the first place. You need everyone's help to put a stop to Darkham's plans, don't you? I thought you were going to ask for their help, even if they all ended up rejecting you. Yeah, I, I know. It's just that... You gotta believe in yourself more, Card. It's not like you were forcing them to come along with you. You're not like Dark. It's your bravery and your compassion that drew them to you. But if you yourself are worried over something like this... That just means that even you, yourself, don't believe in the relationships you've built with them, man. That's not it at all. Then all you have to do is believe in them. Believe that they're the type of friends that would understand. That all you have to do is talk it over with them. Believing that doesn't always work. But in this case, I think it will. Have I addressed yet that Karg's outfit looks like a monster trying to scream and get out of his chest. <laughs> a cyclops with a mouth that's being held back by two belts. Those spikes on it look like teeth on his cummerbund. <laughs> He's trying to scream. Let me out! Was that symbolically intentional? I hope so. Yeah, I guess you're right. What am I so afraid of? Those are the best friends I've ever had in my life. I know they'd back me up if it was to protect the future of the human race. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know what, Samson? Are you sure you don't feel like coming with me after all? I told you, my only goal is to shave this chest. I, I mean, to get revenge on Darkham. I would never shave this chest. That was a joke. It's just a personal grudge. It's got nothing to do with world peace. My motives are too tainted for me to go along with you and your cause any further. But we both want to rescue Lilia from Darkham's clutches, don't we? Was it he that turned out to be your dad? If worst comes to worst... Is that how this phrase goes? If worst comes to worst? If worst comes to worst, by killing Darkham, the world will come to an end, and Lilia will end up dying. But even then, I'd still bring Darkham down. Samson... So, if I went with you, I'd just screw up the whole dynamic of your team, you know? So, I'll just travel my own path alone. That's too bad, you're a good fighter. I'd rather have you on my team. But it looks like we're cutting off some slack just so that we can join with the uh, Demos team, perhaps. And you protect the world like you know how to. Uh, okay. Well, thanks for everything you've done for me. Farewell. Well, farewell. <laughs> so like, like, fair enough. Well, we're at our well. Well, we're at our well. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to find everyone. Oh, oh yeah, because this place was invaded. Didn't I predict that this place was going to look all broken down in one of the earlier videos? <laughs> Yikes. I was very foolish. If this country did not have Lady Nafia leading it. And if somewhere down the road we were to lose you as well, Lord Kark. I don't know. I beg you, Lord Kark, please lead the Defense Corps once more. Lead this great land into a future. Lord Kark, I, I, uh, I, I know I said some awful things to you and I threw rocks and stuff. I, I, uh, I just wanted to say uh, I'm sorry. That was really stupid of me. Say it again, I'll have Paulette punch you in the eye. 
I think I want to go back to pretending to be you as a commander of our children's defense corps. I'm so sorry, Karg. No matter what anyone says, I know you're still the same old Karg we know and love. I acted really stupid that day. I don't know what got into me. Being so scary to you like that. I've made up my mind, Karg. I'm going to marry you when I grow up. You got to promise to wait for me, Kay. Oh my, Lord Karg. I, um, I just... I know you're not like the other Deimos. I assure you. I apologize for the cruel way I treated you before. But I don't know why. My body still seems a little shook up from all this. I'm sorry, Lord Card. Well, we can't control our trauma. I know I must throw away all of my prejudices about you and about Deimos. But I... I think I just need a little more time. And it's cool that the game addressed that kind of his emotions. Lord Card. I am ashamed of myself. I cannot believe I called you those names and blamed everything on you. Yeah, after I got you your damn stone bracelet back? Young man with a picture of his face without a picture of his face? When I think of everything you and Lady Nafi have done for us, I know that I could never truly express how truly thankful I am. What's going on? I wonder why everybody's trying to kick me out. But why nobody's trying to kick me out. I am deeply saddened by the loss of Lady Nafia. We are all mourning this sad event with you. Oh no, these people can't get to their house anymore. Hey old man, what you got to say? Oh, it's Lord Karg. You must forgive this old man. After all you and Lady Nafia have done for us, look how I repaid you. I am ashamed of how foolish I have become in my old age. I beg your forgiveness. It doesn't matter where you come from. You are Lord Karg and you always will be. Promise me, Lord Karg. Promise you will be there to guide Natalia. Try not to kick your ass too much. All right, Banjo. You better fucking apologize, you fucking motherfucking asshole. Fucking piece of shit, Banjo. Lord Card! This is all you've come back to us. I myself am utterly disgusted at my pure stupidity for acting that way. If you and Lady Navia had not been here to guide us, this town would surely have perished long ago. Despite that, I lost sight of what's real, of our debt to you, and treated you miserably. I promised to make it up to you and work my hardest to get this town back on its feet. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. We'll need a lot of spirit stones to get this town back on its feet. I'm running the machines here full time to process it all. How about you, Butch? What you got to say, piece of shit asshole? Lord Karg, I just wanted to let you know that I'm, I'm very sorry for what I did. And, and that I hope to make it up to you someday. Starting by working as hard as I can right now to help restore this town. We've got one of the machines back in top form here and things are definitely looking up. We'll be refining up a storm in no time. Now is the last time I better have to speak to you, motherfucker banjo, banjo, motherfucker piece of shit. <laughs> motherfucking Banjo is so pissed off about Mr. Fucking Fucking Banjo. There's no apology can be good enough for my motherfucking Banjo. Piss of shit like I hate motherfucking Banjo. Lord Karg, to be honest, I'm still totally confused. I don't know how I should act around you or what I should say. In my mind, I don't know what we would ever do without you, Lord Karg. But I just feel like, you know, my body still can't accept it for some reason. I understand. I'll motherfucking be pissed off at Banjo, but I'll understand young man with a face without a face. How about a middle-aged man, I mean? Whenever I think about Lady Nafia, my heart just aches. She must have gone through so much pain and suffering having to hide the truth from everyone all these years. Yet, we did the same thing she was worried we would do. We turned our backs on you as soon as we found out the truth. I hope she hears me up in heaven and knows how sorry I am. Oh, don't get all Christian on me, there's no heaven. Oh no, you guys can't get into your house anymore either. Lord Karg, I'm middle-aged man. I'm a fucking middle-aged man, so why am I making the middle-aged men sound old? <laughs> Lord Karg, I, I don't know what to say. I guess all my feelings against the Deimos just welled up inside me and I took it out on you. I wasn't thinking. Even if you do have Deimos blood running through your veins, you will always hold a special place in our hearts. I know I said some really stupid things. Please forgive me. I said some very mean things. Please forgive me, Lord Karg. 
Chancellor Karg. I, I never meant to say those things about you or Lady Nafia. I promise you. I, I guess I just got caught up in the whole thing. Fucking Trent whore. Never follow what the major group are doing because it's usually stupid. Please accept my apology. I, I just got back from visiting Lady Nafia's grave. Every time I go, I see Paulette there. Yippee! Yippee! You came back to us! Lord Karg, are your wings really gone for good? You know, I was actually a little jealous of you. It'd be so cool to have wings and soar through the sky. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I would like to have wings. Why do my characters not have wings? I want wings! look so cool. Home, huh? Or to the grave. I guess I'll visit to the shops and see what's what. Lord Carr, uh, please forgive me for all the wrongs I've done you. You may not be royalty anymore, but know that we need you to be there for us. To support us. Yeah, yeah, you only want me back because you're afraid of the demons. Use me up. It's the whole Rudolph situation. <laughs> Luckily, this pub escaped without much damage. Everyone in town will be exhausted from working to restore the town. I hope this pub can help to allay some of that fatigue with drink. <laughs> Let's get them drunk so that they can keep building. Let's get me back so that I can keep uh, protecting the town because that's all you need me for. Good, uh, good friends here I have. Talk to Duncan, see what he has to say. Lord Karg, I'm ashamed of myself. Even if Lady Nafia was involved with the Deimos in some way, and even if you have Deimos blood running through your veins, I know it has nothing to do with how you two have loved and cared for this country. I know this when I look back on everything you two have done for us. Yet, I let my feelings get the best of me and I let those people against you. Please, I beg your forgiveness. Sure, I forgive you. You don't have to apologize. So, same thing. I wonder if I can choose the other one next time. You don't have to apologize. Lord Karg! I, uh, I am extremely grateful. As long as I still breathe, I shall spend all my energy to restore this town and make it prosper. All in your name, Lord Karg. Okie dokie. Thank you for returning to us, even if it is just for a short while. This has definitely boosted our spirits as we work to restore the town. Well, shucks. I appreciate it. Appreciate being appreciated. Lord Karg, this is so wonderful. You've really come back to us. I sincerely hope you continue to come to us for all your shopping needs. Luckily, all our weapon parts and accessories made it through safely. Did you get more? get anything new that's actually worthwhile for me? <laughs> nope. So what are you boasting about? <laughs> Thank you very much. Please come again. Do not worry, Lord Karg. When the Dillswild forces assaulted the town, I quickly hid all of our stock and our spirit stones under the floorboards. <laughs> wow. No one would think to search there. So we managed to get through it without too much damage. Anyway, what can I get you today? Please come again. Okie dokie. Did I already talked to this little kid yet? Don't hate us and leave us for the world of the Deimos, okay? I sure will leave you for the Deimos. For kicking their Deim ass. Mom, I'm in the kitchen. I'll cook for you. Just come back. I probably shouldn't make a light of this because my mom's getting be able to enjoy this strange heating, cooling, potentially sex toy device. Hello, plant. I'm sorry. You will have to die in my absence as Mama is no longer here to water you. Mama will never tuck me in at night anymore. She'll never regale me about stories in the future about how she'll kick me out of the house. Alright, let's go visit Paulette at, at the uh, gravesite. Oh, hi. Oh, Karg! You really came back to us! Yeah. Pla Pla 
That's wonderful! Karg, I'm really sorry about what happened. The whole thing just took me by surprise, you know? And I didn't know what to do. It's okay. None of that matters anymore. But, but you're you, no matter what, right? So promise you'll take me with you, alright? Aren't you supposed to be a prince? Don't sound so desperate. It doesn't suit you. I came to ask you, Maru. Will you fight alongside me? Yahoo! The famous tag team is back in action! Better watch out, because this is one dangerous prince and he's coming your way! <laughs> I'm counting on you. I won't let you down. But I'm not the only one, you know. Everyone in this country is behind you, Karg. Thanks to Paulette, she convinced everyone. Paulette did what? She went around and talked to everyone here, one by one. She begged everyone to think about how much you and Nafi have done for this country. Oh. People ignored her, got angry, threw rocks at her, and did all kinds of stuff to her. But she was strong. She never gave up. Oh, jeez, what kind of stuff to her? That sounds terrible. Then the people here finally calmed down and remembered how important you and Nafi have been to this place. <laughs> Go figure. Paulette really went to all that trouble? Remember, she rejected you that day. But ever since you've been gone, Paulette has been torn up inside about what she did. She's really sorry. She said that changing the minds of the people here was the least she could do to make up for it. Do you know where she is right now? Paulette is paying respects at Lady Nafia's grave. She's been spending all her time there lately. What are you waiting for? Go see her. Okay, thanks. She's not out here, is she? Wait, I need to talk to Paulette first. Paulette! Check out that swaying chain technology. <laughs> Weird. What's it doing? Paulette. Or would it say Paulette? <gasps> I'm back. It feels like so long since. Karg, I. Um. That's okay. You don't have to say anything. I heard you talk to everyone in town on my behalf. That means more to me than I can say. I'm so thankful to have you as a friend. Friend? Karg! I'm so sorry, Karg. I rejected you when you needed a friend the most. You needed me by your side more than ever, and I just turned my back on you. That's okay. I don't think I would have reacted any differently. No, I should have protected you no matter how much everyone else was persecuting you. I should have stood up as your shield right then and there. But I just... I just can't forgive myself for hurting you like that, Karg. It was inexcusable. I had no idea what I would do if you hadn't come back here again. Don't worry about it. You don't have to be so hard on yourself, Paulette. See? I came back. And I'm fine. I, I guess... I'm sorry I had you worried. You know, I realize that I can't get by without your help after all. Karg? I promise I'll never turn my back on you again. No matter what happens, I'll be right by your side until the very end. That's good to hear. Wait a sec, Karg! This is kind of scary. Eh? It's almost like you've been possessed by Paulette or something. Maru, why you little? What do you think I am, a witch or something? <laughs> There's the Paulette we know and love. Yeah, this part of the game is getting a little odd with this translation. Because in that situation, Paulette's feisty energy was dulled by Karg's sense of duty, but he said it backward, as if Karg was possessed by Paulette? Uh, what? <laughs> okay, whatever. Yippee! Everything's just like it was before! By the way, Karg, did you find anything out about Lillian? 
Yeah, I saw her in a place called Craft Island. Craft Island? Yeah, a piece of craft was there too. I mean, <laughs> oh, backwards, that's crad. Interesting. Yeah, Dark was there too. I can tell you more later, but the Dillsweld army ended up capturing Lilia again. Dillsweld is an interesting name, but it's so hard to say quickly. <laughs> Dillsweld. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Dillsweld. Dillsweld. Dill. Oh no. Wait, where are Gans and Tatiana? When they heard there were still some Dillsweld soldiers left behind, they left for Thanor Point. They said they might be able to get some information out of them. Okay. Why don't we head there too? Oakley Dokleys. Let's go, please. Oh yeah, I should probably see Mom. There are beautiful flowers laid next to a splendid headstone. So now it's not an unmarked grave anymore, so that's cool. Our most loved and respected mother of hope. Ah, oh, that's a much better change. May she rest in peace. Nafia Yoriel Nadelia. Let's do some leveling first. Thunor Point, which one is that? Thunor Point. Let's just go this way. Any new enemies? Enemy and enemies? Enemy and enemy? Enemy and enemies! Just these wolves? These guys were simple, if I remember correctly. Oh. Eh, go to sleep. Steppy doggy. Alright, who's first? For doggies, they don't have much range. I think they'd be faster than that. Oh, was it all three? All right. Ah. I'll sleep. Oh, all tough. right, who's first? Yourself. Yeah. Oh, they are tough. Too slow. Too slow. I'm glad I put them to sleep. <laughs> All right. That's right. Ooh, nice. Well, now I can't kill you yet. Kill one guy. Let's kill one guy. Let's go. I was gonna hit both of them at the same time, but. Can't risk losing these items. I'll take that. 175 is not very much. Forget it. Yeah, forget it. Touch me and you'll be sorry. Is this edible? It's ours now. It's ours, my. Die. All right, we'll be. Uh. Get it. Don't get excited about that. Oh, that that. Hiya. There we go. Boy, got probably most of the experience there. Yeah, ooh, we classed up too? Sweet. Great Hunter. Aims at giant airborne things. Okay. Giant airborne things? Are the enemies going to use a pyron against us? Is that what that's telling me? Shuffle Shot. Shoots dark charmed enemy with arrow. Dark charmed enemy. So does it have to shoot specifically a dark charmed enemy? I don't understand these words <laughs> in the context of battle in this game yet, at, at least. Line scan, set game. Raises hit rate for standard attack. Oh, that's cool. Oh, don't have very far to go. What's our status? Uh, 297, so he's going to level up pretty soon, too. 19, 3000. Doing. Grind a little, earn a little. The best way to go about a RPG is at least do two or three laps around every area you've already been through before you progress to the next area. And proceed to do the same in the next area before entering the next town or dungeon. That didn't hurt him at all. Guys must be tough. 
Blue Birdies are supposed to be weak. Cash! <laughs> Poison. I should be able to get both of you. Dynamite. Yeah. Wow, these guys are tough. Or my characters are weak. Touch me and you'll be sorry. Level 23, level 28. Holy shit. These guys are tough. Yikes. I guess the enemies level with whoever's highest. And right now, Dark is in the 30s. So this is going to be very tough. I'm going to need to do a lot of grinding. That's right! If they're asleep, they can't hurt <laughs> Justice shall prevail! I guess I'm on this side. No, it's this guy. Well, one's better than none. Oh shit. Oh, we gotta stay away from that dragon, too. Prepare yourself! Oh, huh. Maybe both Dark and I target. Shared target. Oh, too good. slow! Ooh, to have up a better row right now. Go to bed. All right. That's right. Well, one more bit. Oh no. Ow! That's right, Al. Justice shall prevail. Let's go. How's that? Yeah, only 38 damage. That's. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. Yikes. Hunt you. We got a big one on our hands. Hunting arrow. That's right. Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Add a level up. <laughs> it's great. Oh my god, ouch. Take this. Get as far away from the dragon as possible. And buff ourselves. Is this edible? First aid. That's all I can do. This will fix you up! Oh shit, oh shit. Is that your best? Run up the stairs. <laughs> sling knife, fire sling, stinging rain, heat cannon. Let's try that out. Fly, fly, flames of fury. Heat cannon. Ooh, nice. <sighs> Cheap one, I suppose. Watch the arrows rain down. Oh my god, only 13. <laughs> oh no, oh no, leave her alone, leave her alone. Take it easy, huh? Why did I go up? Come on! <laughs> Good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's go! Cash! Jesus. I've been waiting! Here I come! Here I come, come, come. Come on! I'm oh, good. Stay asleep. <laughs> That's right! You'll never defeat me! It's ours now! Here I come! 
That's a <laughs> real hefty chunks of experience here. What has that done to my status level? Yeah, we're gonna have to stick around here for a while. I'll be back. Just changed up everybody's weapon parts and accessories. Eyes of a Peregrine to raise critical hit, and I also raised critical hit with the hit support, and I gave him diamond coating. I gave her also diamond coating, which I realized I had a couple of them. Kept her napping bell and gave her a guard support. I also gave him the crystal arrowhead, which I didn't realize I had also, and another diamond coating. As for accessories, I just left him with two steel armbands and a scroll of evasion. She's got her fireproof gloves still on and two steel armbands. He's got two steel armbands and a stone holder. He could definitely use a stone holder. So I'm still grinding, so I'll just go back to that. Slow. All right. Go. Hey. I've been waiting. All right. Go. You'll never defeat me. All right, who's first? Ha! I've been waiting. I'm coming for you. Oh. Can't you do better than that? All right, who's first? Prepare yourself. Yeah. Touch me and you'll be sorry. All right. You'll never defeat me! Justice wins again! Here I come! I'll take that! Yeah! Cyclone. Well, that sounds fun. Damn. I guess I'll save for that one. She's got 2666 experience. I like that. I know 666 doesn't mean anything, but it both pisses off and terrifies the stupidest and most toxic people on the planet. Go! You'll never defeat me! It's ours now! Come on!
stupid dolt! Lord, never, never, stupid dolt! How's that? Tough break, huh? Seventy four. One hundred and seventy. How's that? Got it. Yeah. Here I come. I'll take that. This edible. Ha! Goodbye. Prepare yourself. Come on. Have I surpassed my father? Did a bunch of grinding. Look at me, level 28, level 27. We're doing good. Let's head up to Thunor Point to continue the story. Oddly enough, all these new places had weaker enemies than all my old places. So all the old haunts had higher level enemies than I'd ever seen before, whereas these places had weak ones. That's probably going to change as soon as I go there, though, if I get interrupted by a fight. No, look, they're all weak, so they're not even pulling me in, except for that place. That place is brand new, I didn't get that far. More point. Oh boy, a silver turtle. That's terrifying. Armored turtle. What is this one called? Stone tortoise. So, crates? Nope, just the tree stump, which is almost always empty. Let's put you to sleep if we can. Ha! Aw, man! <laughs> Alright, well, let's just attack you first then. My attack hits hard, at least. Come on! Oh man, he blocks a lot. Is that probably all it is? He has high uh, avoidance. Or high guard. Now oh, he puts his defense up. <laughs> I love how they walk. <laughs> They're like happy little puppies. Is that why they say it could be dog? That's right! Gotcha! Sleepy turtle. Justice shall prevail! He's probably gonna give some good items though. If I get this, I'll take that. I still get that guy. Oh, shooting star, smash our enemies! Sling knife! Ha! So she has one at her hip while she's swinging hers? Smash our enemies! <laughs> Interesting, I didn't notice that before. I'm coming for you! Go! Strange, but it's one. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> How many of these guys are left? Just those guys. So let's just go. <laughs> let's wander. I'll put him to sleep though. That's right. Goodbye. Okay, so there's one guy left. <laughs> Nothing. I've been waiting. Always nothing. So to check the stumps for potential items, we put this turtle to sleep, trying to walk by him. But there's not enough room next to him for us to walk, so we have to go around. Good, that'll only make you last You'll longer. You'll never defeat me! We need you to last longer. Here I come, 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 
Here I come, come, come. Here I come, here I come, here I, here I come, come. I didn't realize there was another bridge up there, so we lure the turtle off this bridge so we can walk around him. Yeah, the stabby tree gave me nothing, so I wasted all that time for nothing. <laughs> oh well, you gotta try it. time you don't break the tree stump is the time it's actually got an item. Because sometimes there have been items. Sometimes. Damn by you. Okay, Thunor Point as opposed to Punwa Ravine. Oh, Ravine and a point. Let's go. Let's meet Gans and Tatiana. Oh, look, they got a bunch of dead Dills welds. Good job. I'm not leaving, I just wanted to see what that thing was. Anything to search? <laughs> Tatiana, Gans! Car, you're back! So, decided to join us, eh? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't be away for long. Yay! Well, the worry's over. I'm fine now. But, I'd really like for you two to stay and lend a hand. Come on, what do you think we came here for? Even while you were gone, we've been working hard looking into things. We've got things under control. I guess. You do, don't you? Uh, sorry. And these guys here, you... you didn't... Don't worry, they're just taking a little rest. In hell. They had quite the workout, if you know what I mean. Oh boy, what did you do to them? These two stayed behind after the Dillsweld mining team left. I think they were trying to scrounge up a few spirit stones to sell for a night on the town. So did you get anything out of them? We made them tell us where Darkham's heading to next. What? So where's he going? The Dillsweld Empire. The Dillsweld Empire? Back to his own country, huh? Exactly. He must have gotten everything he's after, I'm afraid. Then I guess he must be using the spirit stones he found on this continent to make an artificial windstone after all. Well, when I examined the small number of spirit stones I was able to find here in the Dragonbone Valley, I found that their composition was very close to that of the windstone. I see. Darkham's probably already finished making his artificial windstone then, huh? Aw oh, man! That means he's already got five great spirit stones in his grubby little hands! This ain't good, Karg! Everyone? Looks like it's time to strike to the heart of Dillsweld itself. We have to find a way to stop Darkham before he has a chance to use his ultimate weapon. Too late! Although he turned out to be a deformed weirdo because Dark's team stopped him. Oh, <laughs> I was right. <laughs> I, I didn't... Things are only going to get tougher from here on out. Count me in. I'm sticking to Karg's side till the bitter end. Yippee! Now that that's settled, we just gotta swoop down into Dillswell's Empire and wham! Alright, it's time to bring out Big Owl. That's what I've been waiting for. Ugh, I already told everything I know. I swear. Ugh, incredibly strong. That Mohawk guy, Emperor Darkham, has returned to his homeland. I'm telling the truth. My butt can't handle anymore. Who was this? Happy. Looks like I should be able to search it and get a prize or something. Alright, let's go. Am I gonna get attacked if I go back here? Nope, okay, so it's just a, a place. And down here is Big Owl. Okay. Alright, Gans, let's take you on a spin. Gans and Tatiana, we need to train you a little. I don't know what levels you're at. 23 and 19! Oh fuck! Here we go. Defeat all enemies. Use you guys as human shields and then just kill everybody with magic. Oh shit, the snakes. Put everybody to sleep. Oh shit. Let's make them spread out. Ooh, they're gonna hurt. Alright. 
begins. Go! Bullseye! Not even go to sleep? Damn it. I need them to go to sleep before I hit them with the other with the weak guys. Uh, you're going to come and help. Be a shield. Hey, yeah. Solves problems. <laughs> Leveling issue. At least for Gan. He's a strong level 22. Ah, shit. <laughs> does he have antidote? And then a marrow. Oh, he does have antidote treatment. Good. They can't keep you down. a good idea to have that around here. All right, who's first? <laughs> She's taking all the thunder you, over here. You, huh? Yeah. At least the dangerous guy. Touch me, and you'll be sorry. So let's just do this. Get her some the experience does seem to be a, a Sigma Gale. Matched with how much. Damage you do. That's, That's not gonna cut. It. Seem to find. I can't lose a battle of strength. No whipping out. Looks like we're gonna have to go and do a bunch of grinding again here. Got some SP to earn too, as does he. Extreme grenade, that's what I'm looking for. 
Ooh, it's not too far off. Ooh, card can get his Windblade Fury. The one I was saving for, I believe. Ooh, Burning Rage. She gets that now. Ooh, and the Heat Cyclone. Ooh, Heat Cyclone. Oh, both sound fun. Fire rains down below it. Continue to head on Fire Blast. That sounds fun. What else? Oh, Great Hunter. Haha. <laughs> Oh yes, I can't wait to see what this does. And now we draw this video to a close. I know not much happened, but we got our friends back. Please check out my plus size artwork at Lime Green Squid on all platforms. And if you'd like to help me out, please consider a like, subscribe, or donation. Lime Green Squid out. Arc the Lad. I told you, my only goal is to shave this chest. I, I mean, to get revenge on Darkham. I would never shave this chest, that was a joke. Yeah, we'll tell the rewards, but I'll tell your life away. I will tell the rewards, but I'll tell your life away. I will tell the rewards, but I'll tell your life away. I will tell the rewards, but I'll tell your life away. I will tell the rewards, but I'll tell your life away